Hello and welcome to another video on congruence. Now in the previous few videos we looked at what information we need to determine whether two triangles are congruent and we came up with four congruency axioms. So let's just remind ourselves of what those axioms were. So, um, so we came up with the SSS or side, side, side. We had side, angle, side. We had angle, side, angle. And the last one was RHS. Um, and this uh, referred to right angle triangles. So if we had two right angle triangles where the hypotenuses were the same, and the side length, one of the other side lengths were the same, then we knew for sure that those two triangles were congruent. So if we're given any of this information, then we know for sure that those two triangles are congruent. But we also looked at some other combinations. So we looked at AAA, and we also looked at um, ASS, and uh, we went through some examples and we showed that if we're given just this information, then we don't know for sure whether those two triangles are congruent. They could be, but we just need some more information. So I'm just going to put a question mark here um, because we, we would need more information to verify that those two triangles were congruent. OK, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through these pairs of triangles, so each of these pairs of triangles, and for each pair, we're going to decide whether they are congruent, whether they are not congruent, or whether there is not enough information to decide. And if they are congruent, we need to give one of our congruency axioms. And just be careful, the diagrams are not accurately drawn, so you can only use the, um, the data or the information from the pictures. So for this, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can have a go at doing this yourself first. OK, so I'm assuming you've paused the video now. So let's go through these questions. Let's start off with A over here. So what information have we got? Well, we've got two of the side length, which are the same. And notice how the angle that's in between them is also the same. So the, we can say that these two triangles, they have the same side, angle and side in that order. So side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So those two triangles are definitely congruent. And the reason, well, we can just state our axiom. So that is going to be SAS. OK, let's look at B. Notice we've got three angles and they are the same for both triangles. So we've, we've got three angles that are the same. Now you may be tempted to say, well, if we've got three angles of the same, then the two triangles must be the same. But no, that is not necessarily the case because we're not given any information about the side length. And notice, again, AAA is not a congruency axiom. So I'm not saying that they're not congruent. All I'm saying is that we need more information. So this one, there is not enough information. We need to be given at least one of the side lengths. OK, let's look at question C. So we've got two of the angles that are the same. So notice we've got two 59 degree angles and two 68 degree angles. But the, uh, the side length in between those two angles, so if we were going to use the SAS, uh, sorry, not the SAS, the ASA, then obviously those side lengths need to be the same and they are different. So because the corresponding side lengths are different, then these two triangles are definitely not congruent. OK, let's look at question D. So for question D, we've got two right angle triangles. And notice this side length is the hypotenuse, which is nine. And this side length is the hypotenuse, which is also nine. So the hypotenuses are the same. One of the other side lengths are the same. Um, so these two triangles are also congruent. Because we can use the RHS. We've got two right angle triangles. The hypotenuses are the same. And this one of the other side lengths are the same. So these are congruent through RHS. OK, question E. So notice we're only given one of the side lengths and the angle and one of the angles. So if we look at those angles, they're both 52 degrees and the side length opposite so the side length opposite the 52 degree, 52 degree angle is 7 and the side length opposite the 52 degree angle over here is also 7 but we need some more information. So these two triangles they could be congruent but we don't know. Okay, so for this one we'd also put NEI. 
not enough information. Okay, question F. So we've got um, 252 degree angles, 256 degree angles, and the side length in between those two angles is also the same. So again, for this one, we can use ASA. So we've got the same angle, side length, angle. Angle, side length, angle. Angle, side length, angle. So these two triangles are definitely congruent. So that would be ASA. -A. Okay, question G. So we've got two right angle triangles. So we're probably thinking along these lines here. Um, one of the side lengths are the same. So one of the shorter legs is 10 and one of the shorter legs on here is 10. But we need the hypotenuse. We're not told what this side length is. So we don't know for sure whether they are congruent. And again, just like these two, they could be congruent. But we need to know what the hypotenuse is. OK, so for this one, we'd also have NEI. OK, you might be thinking, well, the, the 10 is over here on the right and the 10 is on the left. So surely they're not congruent. But remember, this triangle could just be flipped around. It could be rotated. It could be reflected. Um, OK, so uh, as long as one of the shorter side lengths are the same, um, then they could still be congruent. But again, we need more information. OK, for question H, well, straight away, I can see that these are definitely not congruent. Okay, these are not congruent because the side lengths are different. OK, so these two triangles, they are, in fact, similar. This one is just a scaled up version of this one. But they're definitely not congruent because the side lengths are different. OK, for question I, um, well, we've got we've got two five centimeter length or we're not five centimeters, just the length is five. We don't know what the units are. We've got two lengths that are seven and we've got two lengths that are nine. So all three side lengths are the same. So that means that they are congruent. Remember, if we have all three side lengths that are the same, then they are congruent. So that would be SSS. And our last one, J. So what information do we have for J? Well, we've got our 81 degree angle. Um, we've got our 81 degree angle. Now for this particular triangle, the side lengths either side of the 81 degree angle are five and seven. So we've got five here. So the other one, in order for these to be congruent, this side length has to be seven. OK, and then we would have side angle side. OK, but because we've got the wrong, we've basically got the wrong side length. OK, so let me just undo that. This side length here is seven, whereas this this kind of this seven should be over here. OK, so these two triangles are not congruent. So how did you get on with those 10 questions? Did you get them all right? If you didn't get them all right, don't worry. Hopefully, after I went through all of the answers and my reasoning, hopefully that all made sense. Um, now, we've gone through the first 10. There's actually 20 of these in total, but I'm not going to go through them in this video. I'm going to go through the other 10 in the next video. So, uh, and those 10 are a bit more challenging. So hopefully you'll see me then. And thank you for watching. Take care.